Okay, the exciting action is picking up. Laika's on my back, and here we go. It's about to be a doozy. We gotta get her to the volcanic incantation area where she will recite the prayer that old man Kimu taught her. Maybe we should make a pit stop there in uh, Pong Tan. I wonder if I'm actually gonna have to run back through this stupid forest. Or, yeah, there we go. That's what's up. Just gonna drop me back at the start. That's what's up. Now, man. I ain't gonna be one to tell someone else how to do it, but that's what's up. Oh man, the long dark night it approaches as the stormy winter winds blow. And the army of the dead marches. What gear? What gear? I miss some sort of glowing light, but I don't got time for that right now. Whoa, now that's one nasty blizzard that's blowing in from the rear of the village. Anyway, we gotta get like to that altar. We're almost at the edge of Lachi Lake. You're dang right about that, brother. We gotta get her up to the altar. And then hopefully go and defeat some monsters. Couple of baddies. Okay, we got time for this one. This one's close. Bam! I looked up the reward for that. Um, for all these stray beads. And it's epic. But, uh, the fact that I have, like, nowhere near all of them means I've missed a lot. It feels like I'm getting them pretty consistently, but there's, like, a hundred, so... Like, this time I actually feel like I'm sort of approaching the end of the game because I remember what the last room looks like. Sheesh, what's up with this nasty blizzard? I mean, where the heck does this thing come from? Yeah, because I remember what the end of the game looks like, like the final room and everything. Like, it's like, okay, this is kind of, I feel like I'm heading in the right direction here based off of things people have been talking about. And, you know, no spoilers, but... Huh? I thought everyone would be gathering at the altar, but nobody's here, not even old man Kimu or Sumiko. We can't make like a prayer all alone in this weather. Doggone it. Where the heck did everyone go? As a Fuji and the Arga Yamate, they're both steeped in history. Where did everyone go? Maybe they're up at the gate? I don't know. Or maybe I could turn around and go to... His house? I'm not sure what the right move is here. You know what? Turning around and going to his house is a lot faster. And if that's the right thing to do, then I might as well just go ahead and give her give her a quick try. And then if he soon complains, like, hey, where you going? We got places to be, doggy. What the heck are you doing? I mean, what use would it be go to the village now? See? There you go. Question solved. But, also a stupid piece of dialogue because, where'd everyone go? Don't go back to the village, they obviously aren't there. They couldn't be inside their houses from this cold ass, stormy ass blizzard. I mean, what do you think, Inami? But I guess that only leaves the one option of them being up here. And I do see a lot of, uh, oh, maybe that's where the wind is coming from. It looks like there's a big gust coming out of that door over there. So maybe the door's been breached. Or about to be or something. I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was like a, supposed to be a nighttime, daytime thing or... Who's to say? What's everyone doing here? Hey, I brought Laika everyone, so what's up with this nasty blizzard? It's... It's the day of darkness. This day comes once every hundred years. That's why the monsters are making the blizzard even fiercer. Oki, how could he be so irresponsible at a time like this? He destroyed the gate here on this way to Waku Shrine. What? I tried to stop him, but he was waving the Katoni sword about and he was through the gate before I could do a thing. Now come we could freeze over whether the eclipse comes or not. Oki suddenly disappeared after we defeated Orochi. He never thought he'd come here and do something like this. 
I bet he just wants to steal all the glory for himself. No, Oki's not like that. I understand why he took the Divine Sword. He was trying to do what was right. When the two demons got violent at the shrine, it was Oki who came to Kemu's rescue. I thought Smickle was the one who saved old man Kemu. Oki acted as bait so that Kemu and Smickle could escape. They survived because Oki acted as their shield and fought for them. Oki's the strongest among us, but even so, he's no match for them. He was lucky to come home alive. That's quite a feat surviving a battle against two demons. But he was angry that he couldn't defeat the demons, so he took the sword and left the village to fight again. I know it's unforgivable that he stole the sword like that, but he was just trying to do the right thing. All he cares about is doing the best for the village. It won't be long before the eclipse makes the sun disappear. If the volcanic incantation doesn't start as a Fuji erupting, Camille will get colder until it freezes over. Please, Laika. We're relying on you to make this work. Oki always told me what kind of Oina he wanted me to become. He told me to be a good Oina and use my power to help everyone. Do you think it'll help everyone if I pray like I always do? Who cares about this stupid blizzard? I'm going to pray for our mountain to come back to life. That's my girl. Let's go on, my little warrior. If you don't start the incantation soon, it'll be too late. Can I help? I guess I gotta go back to the incantation spot. That looks like something I could have jumped down onto. I want this ship to come alive. This thing looks mad cool. I want to see what all these dark demons are about, yo. She'll freeze to death praying in the middle of the storm like this, but there's nothing we can do. Hang in there, Laika. If only we could be of some help, like, I feel so powerless. Please, Laika, we're all counting on you. Can I draw a sun? I don't know. Can I, does that warm you up, buddy? Don't disturb her prayer. Once that big old gate blows all the way open, there's only one way to stop that freezing air that blasts out. We gotta destroy those two demons by the altar on the mountain peak. Do I have to go on the gate? I don't even know. Hmm. I guess that's the gamble I'll take. The gamble. I might try to go inside the gate and then they'll be like, Ami, what are you doing? Need your help. Come on, where do you think you're going? It's like, well, I thought I was helping. I don't know. Alright, we'll see. Isu might hit me with the classic, where do you, where are you going? We really gotta go through here, Ami. The ruins of Waku Shrine lie within Ezefuji. It's a strange place discovered by the people who wept here long ago. At the peak lies an altar with the statues of the twin demons, and the trail out there is littered with odd contraptions. The twin demons, Lechku and Nechku. They came to life and terrorized the land long ago. They were defeated and imprisoned by the legendary Oina hero. Where have I heard that before a million times? But it seems they've broken free. This can't just be coincidence. Remember what that no good nine tails say? Something about Yami, ruler of the land of darkness? I don't know who this is, but all sounds a little strange that it started happening after Rochi returned. Who knows if this mountain shrine has anything to do with all that, but I think we need to be extra careful. Paraphrasing a bit here. Too much dialogue. So much repeating. It's really trying to hammer home a lot of these points. Maybe for kiddos who aren't paying attention to the story, you know, it's all right. But I got no problem keeping track of the story. Wait a sec, Ami. You see those cannons? I'm not sure they're here to greet us. Let's take it slow and easy. Oh yeah, slow and easy, eh?
And I thought they were gonna be like friggin' Gatling guns, like, Durr! and that's why he said slow and easy. Why are these ones even in the ground? You know, if it's so obvious. Why not just put it above ground, make it a little bit easier for me to... You know... Do my thing. The tower. The tower of no good and evil. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Oh, that coming. Ooh, a little bit of a, a bit of a puzzle. Oh my god. this video. All I had to do was cut those trees. I couldn't even think of that. But now I also have to figure out how to push this ice block without killing myself because I don't know how. Uh, wind blow it? Okay, well that didn't work before. I don't know how much time that's gonna save in this video when I edit it out. But, tell you what, it was probably like 15 minutes. At least it felt like that, maybe more like 10. But I was just like, having no idea... How did I? I knew it had something to do with the trees, because they were small before. I didn't think they were that small, but... Yeah, I thought maybe if they were smaller again, so I kept leaving the room and like jumping off the edge trying to figure out how to get the trees to reset. And boom, you just cut them. Pretty obvious. Those skills. Skills that kills. Anywhere I can go. That would be awesome. I get the picture, there's cannons. chests in here? What's the point? It's 
So they give me the gate. And they give me a save point as well. Alright. Alright, I'll take it. Whoa. What the frick? Ugh. No. Creeps over there, those creep cannons. No, get away from me, bastard. I don't want none of that. I don't know what he's gonna say, but there's no way that it can be anything as anything more like interesting than these guys are going fast you might want to slow time oh he's saying that it hurts me i guess if i step on them you would think it wouldn't because uh or maybe like here let's try something if i try to land on this guy okay I was gonna say like maybe it's like a pool of lava and I can swim in it. I don't know what the hell that is. Well, whatever. I'll have to figure it out because I have to get back up there somehow. Big ugly nose, dude. get this these things like this guy's gonna be really bad on damage probably not great on time either maybe a green tree on time and a little crap thing on okay I mean, look, check out this thing out. Got a nasty blizzard blowing out of it. If you're trying to turn Kamui into a giant ice cube, we gotta stop it. Your technique should help us. I mean, the contraption doesn't look all too complicated. Please tell me this has the answer behind it. Oh god, it does. Check out this huge pattern carved on the floor. Yeah, you could do that. It's been so long. No! Right when I run out of ink, the eye is coming to where it needs to be.
Jug of water for me. Jug of water for outer space. Look! I think it's here. That 13th and final brush technique you lost. We finally found it. Yeah, that's pretty hype. One, two, three, four, and a five. Ah, Matross, the origin of all that is good and mother to us all. In your absence, I took shelter here, only to become trapped. Beings of evil defile the world with impurity and darkness. Like a mighty snow flurry, I, Itagami, god of ice, have returned. I grant you the ability to freeze your foes to absolute zero. I am the last of the thirteen gods you sought. You now possess the power to put an end to the evil forever. The 13th and final brush god is Itagami, the god of ice. You know what this means, Ami. You've now recovered all the brush techniques you lost. Whoa, check out Itagami, Ami. No way. Looking like Chernui. You obtained Divine Instrument Solar Flare. Well, I guess that's it. We found the long awaited 13th and final technique, Itagami's Blizzard Power can freeze any monster to the bone of fitting power to top off the rest like icing on a cake. Hey, check out that flame spider over there. It'll make a perfect first victim. Place your brush on a mass of ice to harness its power, and then draw a line. Do that and the power of ice should rush into your brush. Ha, that no good flame spider's frozen solid. At last, I've seen all 13 of your techniques. The 13 celestial brush techniques, the power of the gods. Well, the celebrations are just going to have to wait. The first order of business is getting out of here alive. I mean, what use will all the techniques be if I'm dead? I don't go do anything stupid and get in this kill, dummy. Itagami, achievement unlocked. Just went ahead and threw on that weapon for me. No big deal. Oh yeah, I forgot about this too. Freaking got that one yesterday. Cool, cool. Because it stays frozen solid, oh, until I jump on it. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't sure I'd be able to reach that. I got these cool new weapons. I'm still gonna try to avoid this combat rata. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, is that how I beat those things? I wondered forever, and now I think I just figured it out. Up another big save. I don't know how long this video is going to be because, uh, in this case, not going to open. We're going to need some sort of trick. There's a whole smack dab in the middle. No.
Awkward camera is over for now. It will return now. I know anything about this game. It's not that awkward camera. Yeah, no, it will return. It will be back. Shucks. How do I get fire all the way over here? Do I have to be over here? Perfect. Perfectly moist. Uh. Okay. Free. I guess I should have slowed time and then froze it, but whatever. Too good. Whoa, whoa. Why does it have to be so reckless? I mean, open your eyes. There's a big old hole there. I'm too young to die. Pit's got sparkly stuff in there. Yeah, I wonder if I can freeze it and make a bridge. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to do, but... Trees are gonna die pretty soon. Mad cold out here. They won't survive. Unless that volcanic incantation starts to work. I don't know, can I jump through it? Wind? Come on. Wind. Big cannon. <laughs> the 
infinity stone and a holy bone. Does that mean a boss fight's coming? They're giving me in infinity save points. A whole nine. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with the clocks. I don't know, slow time. What? I literally have no idea. Like this feels like it's broken. It opens up. Oh god. <laughs> He's gotta get real close, okay. Lechku, Nechku. Oki. <laughs> Look who's here. This guy doesn't waste any time, I like his style. This must be the Silver Demon Nechku. <laughs> He's one of the twin demons that turned Kamui into an icy waste. What luck finding him alone. Sorry fella, I know you just recently woke from a long slumber. You're gonna have to go back to be a statue again. Hey, where's that burnt brain going? Huh? Look over there. But Sure, Nui? Isn't that you from a hundred years ago, Ami? I don't get it. What's that old self of yours doing here? Get a freaking partner in crime. Nice. Yo, sure knew he's a monster. Holy crap, looking like Super Sonic. Damn! Wish I was that cool. Wow. You guys really did a number on Bird Brain there. Quick, Ami. Before your old self steals all the glory. Finish that demon off. What the? Uh, that's the gold demon. Let's go. Being mucked by Oki. And look, isn't that Oki? At last, at last I have you cornered. I'm gonna finish you off this time. Katone shall blaze silver once more. Oh, the silver demons ticked. Are they gonna Power Ranger transform Megazord? 
Both times are changing. Those demons aren't finished yet. Better back off for now, Ami. Oh, a couple of few, just a few wolves mucking some birds. No, Oki, don't. This is what separates a hero from the rest. You're about to witness history in the making. Kuchon, trusty sword of the great hero Oki, shall awake. Has he lost his mind? Time stop. What the heck? I can't... I can't move. Uh, I can't even breathe. Okay, get away from there. You demons curse you. What? No! Oh my god, what the hell? Now's the chance I can finish them off. Come on, Ami, pull just a little more. Oki, your sword. Hmm? It's going silver by the great spirits of the air, earth, and sea. I was so blind. I should have known. At last, I understand. The sacred Sorikatone, defender of Kamui, could not possibly wake while the heart of its wielder was clouded with selfish desire. That's why I couldn't defend Kamui with the sword let alone protect the lives dear to me. Now don't start turning all sappy on me, Oki. You gotta focus, focus, finish off those demons and you'll restore peace to your village. Those spirits of the air, earth and sea, and the sacred sword Gatone, grant me the power to save this land of Kamui. Now you're talking. Okay, Shinya, are you okay, bro? Seems those demons fled to the altar on the opposite side, but I have no idea how to get there. The shrine is like a maze. We need something to lead us in the right direction. Remember this wolf was struck by one of the demons? Did you see the strange glowing piece that flew off it? Did, and it's right here, but I just want to make sure she knew he's okay. I have no idea what we found, but it sure looks interesting. Amaterasu, this wolf isn't gonna last much longer. I'm my life to this one now. I can't let this wolf die like this. Don't worry. I know this wolf's companion wants to be around here somewhere. You'll know him right away. He's a Ponko, just like me. This wolf has a Ponko companion as well, and it looks almost exactly like Amaterasu, but what's going on? Even their scents are the same. It's a long story, believe me. And this isn't exactly the time to be talking. We gotta chase down those demons. You're right. We must finish them off. Let's do it together this time. Elevator. Nice. Nice touch. Listen, you two. I'm gonna stay here with this wolf. You go on ahead. What? I can't leave this one here all alone. What happened to this wolf is all my fault. Oki, 
Don't worry. I don't intend on having you fight those demons alone. I'll catch up with you once I finish off the rest. And make sure this area is safe. Keep forging ahead. Come off it already, Oki. You're not really all that tough. With your plan, we'd end up having to worry about you. But if you insist, we'll leave this area to you. Look after that wolf, okay? I will. Spears of the air, earth, and sea. Grant these to your divine powers. Cool. Thanks. Hopefully, through that door is a save. There's one off to my left, and I could just go to that, but whatever. I'd rather forge it and find a new save point. One that isn't just a yellow gate, and one where I can actually save the game. Uh, yes. Uh, this spot. I do recall. Ooh, wrecked. Okay, I'm surprised that one hit. Okay, I guess that's all I can do. Another 16k making bank. Okay, does this have to go inside, I guess? Whoa! Too far. Ah, I see.
Thought it was gonna be something better. Cool. I needed that. I was just going here because, you know, I like to get me some loot. No! <laughs> Please don't tell me I dropped the key. Okay. Ugh. All right. Uh -huh. Merchant. Is freaking Oki already ahead of me? Whoa, who goes there? How'd you get in here? You come to invade us? You got some answers. The fight to the end, the best way to settle this business. I think I'm about to be at the very end, so it's like, ah, man, I might as well make this a long video. Nobody watches them anyways. <laughs> okay, how'd you get here so quick? Actually, I owe it all to that wolf and his little friend. The punk appeared after you left and told me to go help Amaterasu. And that was the wolf's companion you are talking about. That wolf really seemed to perk up when the punk appeared. It looked like the wolf had recovered somewhat. I sensed that they had a bond. It made me feel like they'd be okay, so I left them and came rushing here. But enough talk for now. I take it that if you're here, those demons must be somewhere up ahead. Will you fight alongside me? Hell yeah. Those spirits of the air, earth, and sea get us to your divine power. And shut up the divine power. Bull crap. I've also been hungry this entire time. So this is where those bird brains went. They're trying to hide while they lick their wounds. We can't let these infernal contraptions get away this time. And I don't think we have enough energy to chase them down again. Them get away again? <laughs> no praise ever eluded my trusty Denkamaru more than once. Nor my own. You guys charging up Super Saiyan Blue over here. Go. 
Oh gosh, didn't see those ones coming. I don't know. Now I'm Terasu, pull me back like an air and fire me at those demons. I'll pull them down to the ground. Circle of lightning. Don't hold back, you have to pull me back with all your strength to reach them. Okay. I didn't realize I had to hold it for a long time or something. Cool. Oops. Guess that's why I should be running and not just standing still. There we go, yo. The twin demons which had suddenly awoken atop Ezofuji and tried to lay waste to the land of Kamui were defeated. They disappeared in a burst of petals thanks to Okinamatrasu. However, a giant cloud black as night cast a shadow on the scene. Blight, Nine Tails, the twin demons. The souls of each were swept into the cloud as it moved and it drifted toward the Ark of Yamatao at the bottom of Lachi Lake. The Ark of Yamatao is beckoning all of the world's darkness within. Tuskel's words echoed ominously, awaking Amaterasu's heart. All of the sacrifices, all the life lost in the name of good. Was it all in vain? Shir Nui, Amaterasu's 100 year old incarnation, was fatigued and exhausted by the intense battle. However, Mashir Nui noticed the glow of Okisori Katone. A sly smile seemed to crease the wolf's tired lip. Satisfied with this bright glimmer of hope, Shir Nui struggled to rise and put every last ounce of strength into passing through Shaku's gate back in time, back home. As Amaterasu and Isin looked on, they were fully aware that Shirnui headed back into the face of danger. 
to the battle with Orochi. After saving Nagi from the clutches of death and aiding them in their own quest, Shirni would die a hero, marking the beginning of the legend of Orochi. As Ashaku left the scene, his eyes betray the sort of toughness one exhibits when preparing for a grave event. Sun Fragment. K, bonus 56k. Alright. Achievement unlocked. Twin bird brains. Save the game? Of course. Amaterasu and the others returned to the foot of Ezefuji. There they saw Laika praying intently, the storm had subsided. Then, as if to celebrate their hard-won victory, the twin volcanoes of Ezefuji erupted in great pillars of flame. The villagers felt warmth on their skin and wept tears of joy. However, Oki merely surveyed the scene stoically, remaining silent. Although the evil demons had been driven away, the thought of having taken the sword and caused so much grief weighed heavily on his heart. The only one who could seize the burden of his woes was Mikkel. The chieftain who rescued Kami from the shrine stepped forward. Silently, he approached Oki, offering an outstretched hand. His eyes betrayed the complexity of emotions behind the gesture. Oki, realizing the gravity of the scene, extended his hand in turn. The moment they shook hands, Wapkir was reborn into a village far too strong to ever fall victim to evil again. As for Katone, the sword that vanquished the twin demons, it was returned to its pedestal by Oki's own hands, and as long as the glow remained, no evil dared draw close. Katone's gleam spoke of a power too great to succumb to evil at that moment. A brilliant flash of light shot forth from Katone, striking squarely on the frozen surface of Vachi Lake. Though the lake had never shown any sign of melting, cracks began to open up along its surface. The legend of the Iron Ark Yamtao, said to have fallen from the heavens, and the holy light and the holy Lachi Lake, which it called home, was revealed to be more than a mere legend before all those present. I thought this whole volcano schnizzle was supposed to be, uh, making things pretty outside and not so cold, but oh well. Anyways, that was a long one. I'm gonna have to edit it. Um, likes, comments, always appreciated. Things are heating up. Uh, big things to come. We're getting there. We're approaching the end. Um, you know, I'm starting to remember things here. Anyways, till next time, bye for now.